Get Benji up here. Benji, you're going to Man City. Fantastic transfer for you. Oh, no, I like playing for you, Gaffer. No, I said, you're going with Sven Goran Eriksson. He's a better manager than me. He'll teach you how to score goals. <laughs> no, but, but Gaffer, come on, Benji, where's your boots? Get your boots quick. You ain't got much time. We've got a transfer deadline deal. Right, another super dish for football talking. This is my play on kind of like chip nachos. It's like a Philly cheese steak, but baked in the oven. Chip's right. gonna go in, go nice and crispy. And the steak is gonna go in the pan. Uh, do you like a steak, Harry? Yeah, I love a bit of steak. So we're gonna season it up. It's hot in with the oil. We're not going to worry too much about how it's cooked, all right? Whether it's medium rare, rare, well done. It's all about the flavours that you have with it, okay? So we're going to put this into the pan. Nice and hot, sear it up really nicely. And a little knob of butter goes in that as well, okay? What is that, a sirloin? That is a sirloin, sirloin. yeah. I love a bit of sirloin oh, steak. What's your favourite? Sir oh, the sirloin. I like yeah. a bit of fat on the steak. It's it, exactly. It's you flavour. Know, yeah. It's flavour and that's really quite important. So obviously, January. Yeah. Transfer a deadline day. It's not transfer a deadline day, is it, without a Harry Redknapp <laughs> conversation yeah. through a car Leaning or out window. Leaning we like, are, yeah. don't. Yeah, I, I, mean, how, how, I mean, how come you became so synonymous with transfer a deadline day? Is it because, I mean, you've got this history of getting such great deals over the line last minute. Yeah, uh, uh, but talking to the boys outside, you know, they stood out there, them reporters, from seven o'clock in the morning, and I, I couldn't find it in myself Tom to drive past them, you know, it's raining, they're freezing cold, they're out there, they're looking to get something to send back to their student. So I always gave them my time and always spoke to them, you know, I used to take them in for a cup of tea when they were off air, you know. But yeah, always end up at clubs where we needed to do some business because the club was either struggling or we're trying to get in the top four or do something. So it was always a busy time for me, yeah. I'd, but, uh, and especially when I went to Tottenham, I mean, Daniel Levy loved transfer a deadline day. He, he really came into his pro the chairman. He, he absolutely loved the deal. I mean, again, well, he's got a reputation of being one of the hard, running the hardest deals. Oh, the absolutely. Around, I mean, yeah, he? yeah. I mean, you know, you, he'd do he'd do a deal. I, I went there when I was at Portsmouth and did a, we did a deal with Daniel, um, and he he done he done us a buy two get one free deal. Oh, you really? Know, that was one of his deals. Yeah, who, I mean, who he were loved the it. The two that you bought. Well, we took Pedro Mendes and Sean Davis from Tottenham and uh, we let, he let us have Noe, through Noe Pamro into the deal, so I took three players. Is that because he just wanted to get rid of him? Probably, you know, he wanted to unload the three lads. They came in and they did amazing for me. We were bottom of the league at the time when I went back there. I just joined the club back again from Southampton. And then three were major players and we stayed up, went on an incredible run um, and just managed to survive and that was... That was lucky, that was down to transfer deadline day. Good deals kept us up. And then, what's one of your best transfer deadline day stories? Probably, um, it, probably selling one more than signing one. It was when I sold Benjani to Man City. Yeah. You know, I was in the office and uh, I'm trying to get the money to buy Jermaine Defoe, but we haven't got the money. And uh, suddenly the phone goes, uh, my secretary comes in, Harry, I've got Sven Goran Eriksson on the phone from Man City, Man City manager. Really? Oh, right, okay. So, hello, Sven, how are you? I am good, Harry, he said. You have some good players at Tottenham. At, uh, sorry, at Portsmouth. Yeah, I said, we've got some good players at Portsmouth, Sven, yeah. Uh, he said, uh, I like one player in particular. Yeah, yeah, which one's that? Benjani. Oh, yeah, Sven. Right now, Benjani's had a nightmare, really. He ain't, I bought him and he hadn't really come off. He scored, he hadn't scored about a year or so. So what was it about him? He played well against Man City. When we played Man City that year, he scored Benji. Yeah. And, and uh, Sven obviously thought he was fantastic. He loved him. And I loved Benji. He was a great lad. So he said, uh, I like Benjani. So I, I said, Sven, you can pick him. You know a player when you see one. So, he, I mean, so you butted him uh, up? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's an extra million. Uh, would you sell him? Uh, I said, but, uh, if I sell him, I'll get the fans, all, they'll lynch me. I said, he's, my, he's the favourite player here, so you, you pick my best player. Uh, would you take eight million? Now, I'll be true, but I would have took two at the time, you know? <laughs> so uh, anyway, we end up, we do a deal. Benji's going to Man City. I'll, now, where's Benji? For eight million. Find Benji, quick, get Benji, get Benji. I want the money to buy Defoe, where's Benji? Get Benji up here. Benji, you're going to Man City. Fantastic transfer for you. Oh, no, I like playing for you, Gaffer. 
No, I said, you can have his finger on Ericsson. He's a better manager than me. He'll teach you how to score goals. <laughs> no, but, but Gaffer, come on, Benj, where's your boots? Get your boots quick. We ain't got much time. We've got a transfer deadline deal. I get him in the car, drive him to Southampton Airport. Benji, drop him off. Good luck, Benji. Gaffer, I, I don't... You'll get double your money. You Come on, it's a great move for you. I leave him. Two hours later, I get a, my secretary who comes in. Harry, Benji's not arrived on the plane in Manchester. You're kidding me. I put him on the plane Southampton. You actually drove him I drove him, him to the airport. I said, no, get him on the phone quick. So we get him on the phone. Where are you, Benji? I'm still at the airport, right? Stay there, I'm coming. So I get in my car. But what happened? What's happened, Benji? What's happened? I didn't, I didn't get, why didn't you get on the plane? I don't want to go. I like it here with you. I like, no, Benji, there's, there's lucky enough, there's one more plane about three hours later. I stayed there with him, pushed him out on the runway, made sure he couldn't get back in. And he went. And uh, anyway, we got the money and I, I signed the foe on the back of it. Mate, and how did he do at Man City? Benji, no, he, he, he didn't do great. He played about 40 <laughs> odd games, I think. And, but uh, we got the £8 million, pound, which was a lot of money. You got the money that and you I still see for Benji him. now. I meet him for a coffee some mornings. I love Where's him. Where's he lived? Did he live He's down, down in Ringwood Way, yeah. He, he was from Zimbabwe. He's just a great person, great, great lad. But What's he doing now? Uh, he wants to get into Owns coaching. Airline. <laughs> Owns an airline in Southampton. Wants to get into coaching and that. So uh, I'm trying to help him get him to go and watch some training at Bournemouth and maybe get his, you know, get all his coaching badges. Well, that'll be good. See, yeah. it comes around. What comes around oh, goes around. Yeah. He's a good lad. Right. Okay. Look at that. Oh my. Now God. we're talking here. This is a steak, right? We it's just crazy. flash fried it. We're going to slice it up. We're going to sit it on top of the chips. So the chips oh. have been deep fried. Then on top of that, we've got some caramelised onion, some roasted, literally the green peppers that have been cooked in the same pan that we cooked the steak in. We're going to spread the oh, steak amazing all over me. the top. And then we're going to stick this in the oven with some cheese on top of that. Oh, no. And then who's going to do what this transfer deadline day? Who needs to do something? Liverpool need to do something? West Ham need to uh, do I something? I don't think Liverpool dive in, you know. They, I think they'll accept where they are. I think they're going to look to win the Champions League if they can. Yeah. You know? I think the, the league, they'll probably look at the league and think, well, you know, they'll probably put most of their eggs in one basket now. They'll want a top four finish. Um, but I don't, I don't see them sort of diving in on the transfer market. And not? there's talk with the owners looking to sell. Yeah. So they're not going to want to spend too much, you know? No, because they want to keep yeah. the value of the club. Uh, maybe Arsenal might go and get another player in or something. Yeah, they might see a chance now. Going all the way this year and winning the title, they're not going to want to let that slip. So, if, if I, I and what take, about West Ham? Um, yeah, I mean, David, they've, they've, I think they've backed David quite well in the summer. They've, bought, they've spent some big money on players this year, West Ham. Uh, but they'll settle. They've, Moyes has done a great job there, and I think they'll settle down and uh, they'll start to climb the table. Okay, so the chips been fried, steak's gone on it with some caramelised onions, some green peppers, and then the cheese on the top, baked, melted spring onion on top of that and then here is some crispy pre-cooked roasted lovely yeah onions now you can buy these from the supermarket ready done like this so they've got that lovely kind of crisp texture and that again is a little bit of a play on nachos except this time it's chips and steak oh lovely get in there my friend yes. careful don't touch the black no side no because that'll be super hot Oh, Tom, you know what you are? You're the Pep Guardiola of the cooking world. I love that. I'll take that as a I know you don't like Man City, but... I, I, you can't help but admire him. Can't help but admire him. And as far as Pep goes, arguably the greatest manager of all time. Well, it's been amazing, eh? Fergie takes a beating, eh? Takes a lot of beating. Sir Alex. Done all right today. I'm going to call you Pep Tell you what, now. for a man who doesn't do much cooking, mm. you're all right at the end. I'm going to call you Pep from now on. Yeah.